So here's the next thing, though, we got to talk about, man. BTS to do military service in South Korea. All right. One, this is crazy. I'll, I'll, I'll do a quick little reading for some of y'all who don't know. For, one, BTS is a massive K-pop band. I first learned about them probably like 10 years ago at this point, and they just been killing it and finally crossed over, hit a whole, whole nother level for K-pop music by like within the last like two, three years, yeah. like getting awards above American artists in American award shows, stuff like that, right? So here's the article. The seven members of BTS, one of the world's biggest bands, will perform military service in their native South Korea, their agency has said, ending a long national debate over whether they should receive an exemption. While many fans of the K-pop sensations were hoping the band members would be giving special consideration due to their contribution to the South Korean economy and international prestige, the artists will serve almost two years in the military. It's a long time. That's a long time. And well, I know you had some thoughts about that, so I'm gonna let you, you go off on this. Yeah, so my first reaction to it was, I was like, man, I kind of hope they Elvis it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, dip. and I was like, nah, the South Korean government probably don't play it. And I actually think that article goes in detail about a couple other um, South Korean celebrities who tried to kind of escape it. Oh, really? Yeah, they talk about, um, I can't remember, I think it's a composer or something they talk about where like the guy tried to get out of it by getting U.S. citizenship. And then as soon as he <laughs> as soon as soon he touched foot back in South Korea, they, they got him, bro. Ooh. They set him up. But Jeez. I had a conversation with uh, with Sam the other day, and Sam, it was weird because I was like, man, this is like terrible for them, like, bro, they're gonna be taken away, like you said, at the 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 peak of their career, they're just starting like super super crossover. Right. And he was like, nah, I think it's gonna be great for them. And I was like, why? He's like, bro, think about that comeback album, like when they drop it. He's like, that's just gonna be massive. And I was sure. like, and I was like, man, it goes back to last week's conversation of building up a narrative, bro, like building up a really strong narrative. It's gonna make people buy in. And um, it's only two years, so that's not the longest. Yeah, right? and, and, longest. and I'm sure some that, people take two year breaks. Yeah, and I'm sure they're not gonna put them in like any like real danger. You know what I'm saying? Like I read another article that you know, it's, you know, like any military, you can have different jobs within the military. You can be having different skills, and they they are a, a national, uh, international commodity at this point. I'm pretty sure that the, their government is about to fuck bro, that up, bro. Commodity. I think that was you who told me. It was like it was like they're responsible for maybe a billion, two, three billion yeah. a year to the yeah, South to, Korean economy. Yeah. They're not gonna let them get touched. Nah. They're not putting them in nothing. They nah. like, hey man, you go be a teacher somewhere, you go be like a, a graphic designer. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold, let me let me see what their GDP is, man. Oh, well, hey, it's still in the trillions. That's that's a whole nother number. <laughs> yeah, it's still a lot, bro. Yeah, that, that's still a lot. That you know, but still three three billion. Let me let's see if we can. Do you remember the exact number? Of, nah, I, th- I think it was like two three billion. And this was like a while ago when we had that conversation. So, yeah, I'm sure it's grown by now. Okay. And then plus, bro, like if something happened to BTS, bro, like K-pop fans everywhere were right. I got it. I got it. So it says, well, how BTS is adding an estimated five billion to the South Korean economy. Yeah, right? but they're, not, they're not getting so, rid of that. They're not letting that get touched. That's a number. <laughs> that is a number. And it's not just them, right? Because, you know, you want to think of the government. Well, why does the government as a whole, especially if the GDP is still one, one trillion, like five billion is big, but what is that to one trillion? Well, actually, that is actually very significant. Five percent. That, that is that's a significant number. Yeah. Five percent. Well, five, no, five, five billion? Five Of a trillion? Yeah, a trillion. No, that's probably more like 0. 0.5%. Yeah, you're right, actually. But my bad. it's Math significant. <laughs> it, it is significant. And. <laughs> You got to think about the people who are the primary benefactors from that. Yeah. So somebody's losing money. Yeah. Like big money. Let's just say they're record label. I don't know their full situation, but let's just say it's their record label. And they're getting banked, of course, because they're directly related to it. So you talk about that percentage of Korean GDP, but the record label, this might be 80% of their shit. I don't know. I'm making up a number. That person? And also to have that kind of money, you got some clout within the po- political landscape, yeah. that person will be like, hey, man, I done did too many favors. Y'all can't be having my guys out here. Like, y'all are risking my assets right now. Yeah. So, like, okay, okay I get it. We, 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 They have to perform their duties. I get it. But, like you said, no, nah, we can't. We, can't yeah, we got to keep them safe. We got to keep them safe. Keep right. the boys safe. And the fans going to fight for it, bro. Well, I mean, it, that, it ain't really worked so far. But I just, I, that's what I think, bro. If something seriously happens to them, bro, K-pop fans will, will riot, bro. There was something that happened this, like, last week that, I feel like every couple of weeks something happens to remind me how crazy, like, K-pop fans really are. But they were, like, on Twitter, like, spazzing because I think it was, like, a BTS Spotify ad. Somebody noticed, like, a BTS Spotify ad was running or something like that. And, like, they were, like, oh, you know, like, 
Why's his ad running? You know what I'm saying? Like, Wait, so they didn't like that BTS had ads running? Yeah. Was it like a, oh, this isn't organic type Yeah, vibe? exactly. That's exactly what it was. And so their fans are, so bro, it's like their fans lose it as something as small as that, bro. If something serious were to happen to them, it would be crazy. Like, I would, I genuinely feel like that would be enough to start, like, I don't, I don't know, bro, like, something like, what, what's it called? When, like, a, a mini Civil War? There we go, a Civil War. There we go. Yeah, exactly, bro. be a whole lot of beat up uh, young ladies. Yeah, bro. They're going to be out there in the streets fighting for BTS, bro. Shit, it might be some people over here who, who go over there, you know what I'm saying, to help out. <laughs> Brother, like I know a lot of K-pop like fans over here. Yeah, exactly, bro. Home to... <laughs> yeah, bro. I know a lot of K-pop fans who would take over for it. So, yeah. I, so it's like I I, I was looking thinking about what Sam said. I was like, all right, you're right. That's gonna be a great narrative for when they come back. That comeback album probably gonna be stupid, dog. Stupid. It's like going to jail. It is like going to jail. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's a good point. Damn, hey, that's a great point, bro. We know what that does. And going, then you, going and you don't, to jail is practically a rollout plan sometimes. And you don't get the negative stigma that's attached with going to jail. Your record's good. You know what I'm saying? You Crap. know this wasn't your fault. Had nothing to yeah. do with you. Like. Yeah. Damn, damn, that's a good point. Hey, man. But I, I did see like, what's the the lead member? Uh, because I think they're 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 not all going at the same time. I think they they all have like different points where they're gonna start. Cause the oldest member, the lead member, he's not starting his sentence in, well not sentence, but he's not <laughs> start, he's not starting his his service term until he drops his solo project in like October. Well, it is October. So sometimes this month, I think it's like a couple weeks. You know, yeah, maybe so they still getting them leeway. Yeah, but they still got a little power in that let, situation, let bro. Some, let us get it. I don't know about them. You know, oh, well, yeah, somebody. But yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah the, the people around them, they got some power. Like, hey, man, again, y'all messing up that investment. Let yeah. us go ahead and exploit to the fullest yeah. as much as we can. And so we can plan, continue to manage this asset as much as possible. It's like, please, bro, let us put please. the album out first. <laughs> so please, please let us put please. the album out first. Hey, bro, I wouldn't be surprised if they start doing um like some, not VR, what's the word? Not, bro, not, not virtual reality with hologram, hologram, hologram type shows oh, like crazy stuff I hope like not. that I really hope not <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised I'd much rather them like do a live that, stream man, concert maybe drop some kind of game you know experience or something something that that keeps it like just popping and maybe they have a day a special event during right yeah. so y'all are in service but y'all had this one special day to do like you said a live stream concert because them BTS I can't remember oh man like BTS they've been ahead so long Remember, it was during the pandemic. They were doing virtual shows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Bank. Yeah, that was killing it. Like, I think it was like, it was at least $100 million for, for uh, let me see if I could find this real quick. Virtual concert uh, money 2020. And I'm calling it now. When they drop their first picture of them in their uniforms, that shit going to break the internet. I'm calling oh, yeah. it now. It's going to be. Facts. It's going to break Twitter. Facts. You need to make that shit an NFT, you dog. <laughs> So that ain't even the cover art for the next album. BTS cashes in on worldwide streaming concert, earning ninety million in three days. It's crazy. That's thirty million a day for people who bad at math. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, come on! Wait, and oh snap! I don't even think this was. This is actually not during the pandemic. Oh, this is like recent or something. This says March sixteenth, twenty twenty. Yeah. No, damn. When was the pandemic? That was a pandemic, right? Oh, my bad. Yeah. No, nah, I messed up. 2022. Okay. Okay. That's, I was like, wait. Like, <laughs> oh, what you mean? It's only a few months ago, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so 2022. So, I imagine maybe the concert was a few days before that or something. But, but yeah, so that's this year. But I would keep that shit up, too. Yeah. Because whatever they did during the pandemic, let's see if I can see the pandemic number. Pandemic number real quick. Like, but they need to just go ahead and pre-record a bunch of concerts, plan some live dates. You know yep. what I'm saying? Get that last couple of fan meeting greets in. Maybe drop a, a new merch line. They might as well go and cash out, bro, because it's going to be a – no, I don't think it's going to be a rough two years, but it's going to be interesting not seeing them in the – bro, so many artists about to finally get a chance to, like, shoot to the top, you know what I'm saying, get, to really compete. That's yeah. a big power player, bro, and taking out the game, bro. Oh, yeah. Hey, fast, bro, come get your <laughs> – hey, man, take advantage. The competition is gone. Bro, I know somewhere it's all these K-pop boy bands are like, yes. Finally a chance. <laughs> All right, so this, they had a huge revenue from BTS's two-day virtual concert is drawing attention. I should start saying these sources and everything. So this is all K-pop, all right? It looks like a K-pop Reddit or something, or maybe it's a Reddit thread with K-pop branding. But 
Big Hit Entertainment revealed that a total of 993,000 people logged into BTS's concert, Map of Soul 1, during the two days of the concert. So 993,000 over two, two days. Considering the minimum ticket price is 49,500 49, KRW. I don't know what currency that is. You know, y'all put some game in the chat on that. It's like KRWs. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of them. That's what I do know. The company has earned more than 50 billion KRWs, right? Which is, let's see what the U.S. revenue I need, is. I, mean, I need to know, man. I got to hit Google real <laughs> quick. I need to know. Yeah. 50 billion KRWs. Let's see if we can get that in revenue. I think, oh, look. Uh, it's saying, I think it's saying 43 million in U.S. revenue. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's, that's a weird in, in, annotation. But I think it's saying 43 million, 43,500 million in K. What? Hold up. Forty three million five hundred thousand plus. It's something like that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and excuse us for trying to figure shit out, but these numbers are massive. And if y'all don't know about BTS, y'all should really follow them because they're amazing at their brand experience, the way they've been using apps, um, live streaming, and which I don't quite understand why people aren't live streaming like they like you thought would have happened during the pandemic. Yeah. And people are like, whoo. Made it out of that. Let's go back to these shows. Yeah. Like y'all are really still missing out on additional uh, revenue. Like, Duckworth, where are you at, bro? Your <laughs> live stream was so fucking hard, bro, that I, w- I need to see more. I don't know if you needed, like, sponsorships and what it take. Of course, the work is the work, my guy. But your shit was amazing. That should have been, like, at least a once a year of experience, man. I watched that shit with my girl. She didn't even know who you were. And she was like, I'll go watch another one of these things. That was like a date for me, you know, in the <laughs> house. For real, bro. Like, for real. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Like, these live streams, they could go somewhere creatively if you keep, like, like people need to turn those It's up. just another experience. It's another experience. It's just another experience, bro. It's another experience. <laughs> it's another experience. But you don't have to deal with as much of liability. You know Nobody going to throw a phone at you. Nobody going to throw a phone at you unless you planted it within the live stream. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they might throw the phone because your live stream is bad. But, like, that as an additional revenue stream, like, it only adds, especially if you make it an experience, something that's mm. legitimately dope. Which, yeah. in a couple of weeks, I want to talk about Rihanna's, uh, fashion show because I think it comes out in a couple weeks and I know you still haven't watched one yet right nah shit is hard we're gonna wait to talk about intergalactic till then too because I think it's I whole, think I watched that too yeah whole episode to package yeah. you know what I'm saying? put it on my to-do list we're starting to theme <laughs> episodes people y'all give us some 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 thoughts man we're gonna theme these episodes and talk about certain topics but BTS man shout out to y'all uh, you know free BTS <laughs> as Jacoria said y'all sentence in the military 